Hello my friends, John LaRuva here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the new expansion, the Clockwork 2 expansion for Roof. So we're gonna see what's inside the second uh, group of automated opponents, all right? Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, because I really appreciate it when you do. So, we see the four different player boards, or our um, AI boards that you get here, and they tell you what's going on and kind of tells you what you can do with it. So I think that's pretty good. Explains what you're getting. So I am satisfied with the back of that box. And as usual, these root boxes always have nice thematic artwork. The inside is nice too, which is a nice touch. And we have the law of root bots. So, I'm sorry, root botics. So it looks like this is going to just describe all the different things for these four guys, how they work, etc. Which is good. You know, it, it, uh, it's not easy usually to read these rules because they are written in such a way that is exhaustive, but that's okay. Um, hopefully it will end up not being too hard to follow. And most importantly, hopefully you get more of how to play just from looking at the actual boards themselves. Because that would be the way we should go. All right, so here's what we have. We've got the logical wizards here. Okay, so wizards, logical lizards, pardon me. So that's how these are, these guys are gonna be incorporated here. You've got the drill bit duchy. All right, in the back. The river folk robots. The cor uh, the cogwheel corvids. And then another updated, I think this is what this was, electric ire that fixes the issue, I think that was part of the first one. And I believe the issue was a misprint. I remember making a tile and putting it over my stuff, so I don't even remember what the misprint really was. I can already tell, unfortunately, we're gonna get we're getting some warp here. These are these are smiling at us. Um, you know, and that's just kind of unfortunate and it is the way it is i don't know it's i wish if they as long as they don't spin around i'll be okay if they saddle up that's all right but the warp just seems to be the the way it is all right and then we have these tiles right here which will help i'm sure in determining the different choices etc okay and then we've got advanced services deck so this is probably going to give us the information we need maybe set up stuff or tell you how to play them, or do whatever it needs to do to make it possible for you to interact with these guys. I'm actually really excited. It's been a long time since I played Root physically. I did get the app a little while back and played a decent amount on the uh, on iOS, and it provides a nice challenge, I think. Um, but I like some of the newer races a lot right i mean they're fun to play and i think the app did get the lizard and the yeah they got the lizard and the uh river folk not too long ago but we still don't have some of the other ones so um it's just going to be nice to bust these out and play against them so we've got different difficulty levels here and the cards themselves are good quality just like you remember them from the base game or you have the base game so we've got um the different guys here for I think that's going to be yeah um, the vagabond so a couple more of those we've got different types of cards here for their traits I guess and how they work all right and then that is the decrease stuff and so a lot of different things which is cool Okay, and that will give us plenty of stuff to do and different services, etc. Um, so lots to discover, lots to learn, and that's what's inside. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and whatever you do in the future, I hope you have a very good time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.